Right, so we made it to Nelson. Uh, the road was uh, way better from the, uh, the one from Revelstoke. Uh, it was more twisty, and uh, we took a ferry, which was uh, super nice. Uh, we went straight to this uh, Asian restaurant, super good, a uh, lot of food. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna sleep and ski tomorrow in white water. Third stop, Whitewater. Right, we made it to Whitewater. It's uh, snowing and it has been snowing all night, so pretty cool. Seems like a very North American resort uh, with the old school ski pass. So yeah, we see the terrain looks good. So I'm gonna have a bit of a French border. And yeah, it's gonna be nice. Let's go. Alright, uh, so it appears that the Canadian, Canadian are really bad uh, to draw maps. Uh, this maps right here, I can't get shit out of it. It's really bad. But hey, uh, I've seen some uh, funny looking tree runs. So I'm gonna try, just let's go. So, if I ever hear anyone complain at home that the ski lift, the chairlift is too slow, I'm at uh, Whitewater, it's 80 euro a day. I don't have stuff to put my ski on and it's fucking super slow. Well, it's kind of beautiful, uh, all, the, all the trees are white. So, funny fact, <laughs> the old resort just shut down because there is a tree on a power line. So we have to wait uh, an hour and see if, we, if it will start again. Pretty shit, but it eh, happens. So yeah, they definitely closed the ski resort. A uh, bit of a bummer because the terrain was really good. It's good for us because we have a 3 hours and 30 minutes drive to Ferny. Uh, so we will leave a bit early here and arrive a bit early there. A touchdown in Dallas. I gotta make a connection. Left my lover in the magazine store A big Texas bun Smiling at the counter Just the kind of thing I'm looking for And I'm flying high With no ID And I'm flying high With no ID So we just stopped to triple hold. The burger was really nice. So just having a burger here on the side. There was a drive through and we didn't even see that there was like a proper restaurant with table. Yeah, so I ate a burger in the car. It's, it's minus 14, but it doesn't even feel that cold anymore, which is pretty good. We stopped in Cranbrook, which is a uh, a town in the middle of nowhere going to Fernie. So yeah, uh, on the road and tomorrow, Thursday in Fernie is gonna be nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it, pretty boring. But uh, yeah, got a burger, gonna get some snacks and uh, yeah, just keep driving to Fernie. Ciao. All right, uh, that was all about uh, Whitewater. Um, like I said, Whitewater is a super familial resort. 
Um, the lifts are old and slow, but uh, yeah, it's kind of another kind of resort uh, compared to Revelstoke or, Kick or Kicking Horse. Uh, you have a lot of uh, possibilities and the terrain is super safe. Like you're not gonna have like a cliff that you don't know if it's there, it's just pretty mellow. So why did we go to Whitewater? I have a powder highway map here. <laughs> and if you can see, so you're gonna land in Calgary and here. And then it kinda do like um, a round like this. So you have like Kicking Horse Fair, Revelstoke. And there to go to Ferny or either to one of these, you kind of have to stop around there. So Nelson is there and Whitewater is just there. So we kind of choose a resort between Whitewater and a Red Mountain. I don't know anything about Red Mountain, so I can't really tell about it. Uh, but yeah, we did like two, two days there, two days there, one day there, and then we're gonna go to Ferny here for two days. Uh, to do only one day of skiing here, like to drive base one day and drive up to Fernie, it's pretty brutal. Um, maybe two or three days will be better, or two days will be better, like one day white water, or one day red mountain, and then you chill a bit. But yeah, uh, that was it for us, and uh, yeah, next week I will see you in Fernie. Ciao!